the way we control our fingers is by our imagination. Um, every energy that we create, we create in our mind, firstly. <laughs> so, when it's time to play four parts chord in the right hand and four parts chord in the left hand, like both together, eight notes together, you have to be able to imagine them in your head. Uh, all the problems like messing up with um, uh, notes, you know, the f some, some fingers not playing, it's only because you cannot hear all the chords fully in your head. And when it comes to the part when we have to play this uh, chord, for example, eight notes together, if this chord, uh, if we come to this chord from the low part, then this chord is going to go to the right. So if this chord is going to the right, then we start imagining every note sequentially from the left to the right, like this. And then we reduce time between notes in our imagination again, everything we do is our imagination. Until we hear all the notes from this space, it comes to this space, the vertical line, and we can hear all the notes evenly right away in our head. Uh, even though you may think that's not really important, that it's better to you know, repeat this chord and forth a hundred of times every day. Trust me guys, that wouldn't work as much as efficient as this thing. You better develop your polyphonic ear, then it will help you with any fugue of Bach, with any polyphonic pieces that you play, because you will control every voice, uh, no matter how many voices you're gonna play simultaneously. So the first thing, coming back, I'm sorry, uh, the first thing, you will develop your polyphonic ear uh, by doing these exercises, every single chord. Imagine notes first sequentially, then reducing time, and here you go. You can hear eight parts right away in your head. Then when you would play them, you would first imagine, feel it, and your fingers would already know what to play. And this is how you control your fingers. So. Um, exert in the right amount of exertation, you know.